French vehicles are heavy tanks without armor, autoloaders, and the AMX-40. And it's like trying frog's legs for the first time. Compared to its relatives, the AMX CDC looks perfectly normal. But the question is, what is hidden behind those sleek lines? When you see it for the first time, you just want to stroke it. It's so stylish and futuristic, it looks like it would be pleasant to touch. You may calm down a little when you see it next to any other tank. And you realize it's absolutely huge! Here's an IS-4, and here's the AMX. Which one is heavier? Many of you will say, oh, come on. Well, at the end of the day, it's still smaller than a mouse or the Himmelsdorf Castle, and it fits onto Malinovka. But this is a medium tank. It should be smaller than a heavy, but it is what it is. Apparently, it's not just Texas. Things are bigger in France as well, and more elegant. There's just no other other explanation for the armor. 30 millimeters at the front and 20 millimeters anywhere else. It can be penetrated easily by any vehicle of the same tier, or one tier lower, or two tiers lower, by everybody. tear it apart. So, here's the question. Who needs a tank which can be easily destroyed by a couple of MS-1s? You're right, nobody. But the AMX CDC isn't actually like that. In a real battle, it would just leave and calmly pick off those little toys from a distance. This tank is insanely fast. It weighs only 34 tons and has a 1,200 horsepower engine, the same as the E100. That's the best power to weight ratio in the game. According to the owner's manual, the AMX CDC can accelerate to 57 kilometers an hour. Then again, the owner's manual for the IS-7 says all kinds of things. But the AMX CDC really does take off like a rocket. It accelerates to 50 kilometers an hour in just five seconds. That's quicker than the bat chat. This French barn reaches its maximum speed in seven seconds, and it can keep it up. In a straight line, it could easily outrun any medium tank. Only by light tanks can catch it. And when going uphill, the AMX can outpace even a light tank. Amazingly, the AMX loses hardly any speed when powering up a slope. Thus, among medium tanks, the Bat Chat is the AMX CDC's only rival when it comes to speed. Every other tank will eat its dust. When it comes to racing up a hill, no one can challenge it, not even light tanks. It's the king of the hill in the world of tanks. Considering its mobility, the AMX CDC should be a very interesting vehicle. It's for the elite, and they will look down on those who fail to appreciate it. On top of this, it has an excellent gun. Because of the gun, this tank risks becoming the next mega favorite, filling every battle. Let's take a closer look at that gun. Analyzing. MASH. Object confirmed. I need your gun, your camo net, your stabilizer. 
It's almost exactly the same weapon as the one carried by the FCM50T, a heavy tank. Now, let's talk numbers. 240 damage per shot with an armor penetration of 212 millimeters. Accuracy and rate of fire are slightly better. The gun is among the three best medium tank guns in its tier. The rate of fire is very nice when you need to take out a track or to set an enemy on fire especially for starting a fire. Those are the good things about the AMX CDC gun, but what are the downsides? There are none. Look at that gun depression. This elephant can smell the flowers with its trunk. The tank is excellent for hull-down tactics. It behaves like a gopher. Pop out, take a shot, go back into hiding. I'm here, now I'm there, look there. Only the head is ever seen. The tender body is kept hidden in the burrow. But take note, the AMX CDC will tempt you. Its mobility tells you to hit the gas and charge into battle. And that siren call can get so loud that you can't hear the armor shouting, No! Never ever take this tank to the front line early in the battle. You can imagine how it will end. Images of the AMX encountering HE shells can't be shown to sensitive viewers. When driving the AMX CDC, you are both Bruce Banner and the Incredible Hulk. For the first half of the battle, the intelligent doctor hides behind his comrades, just taking accurate shots from a distance. Not spectacular, but quite effective. When there are fewer enemies and you have some room to maneuver, it's time to release your inner Hulk. The Hulk smashes isolated vehicles. He appears suddenly from behind or from the side. The Hulk is fearless and destructive. Or maybe the AMX CDC. DC is a cavalry man. Fast, light, handsome. If you trap it in a corner, you can beat it, but you have to catch it first. Racing halfway across the map is not a problem. It strikes from behind, the enemy turns to fight, and there's nobody there. Fighting in this tank means being always on the move. If you don't like that kind of playstyle, you're better off with a TD or a tank with thick armor. Don't stand still and trade blows in the AMX CDC. This machine is meant to fly. And one more thing. It comes with two crowbars. Only three tanks in the game can say the same.